my chemistry lectures and in today's video we will learn about the hydrogen oxygen fuel cells. We have already learned about the fuel cells, its definition and classification. So in the hydrogen oxygen fuel cells, the hydrogen is the fuel which is supplied at the anode and oxygen is the oxidant which is supplied at the cathode. The electrolyte used is potassium hydroxide. Let us learn about hydrogen oxygen fuel cell in detail. Before starting my video, I will ask all of you to subscribe my channel and like and share the videos. So let us start with the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. In this fuel cell, hydrogen is supplied at the anode and oxygen, which is the oxidant, is supplied at the cathode. You can see here the reactions taking place at anode and cathode. Anode accompanies oxidation and produces water with the loss of electrons which are accepted at the cathode resulting into the formation of hydroxyl ions that is reduction of oxygen. So the net cell reaction is the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen which produces water. And we all know water is non-toxic. So the byproduct is nothing here. Only one product and that is water. The electrolyte used here is potassium hydroxide. And in the figure you can see at the anode the hydrogen is supplied. And at the cathode oxygen is supplied. In between the two electrodes is the ion exchange resin which is impregnated with the electrolyte that is potassium hydroxide. You can see there that there is a small container containing water through which a wick rises up in the ion exchange resin. This wick actually maintains the balance of water in the electrolyte. Now we can see the working of methanol oxygen fuel cell. The hydrogen gas is bubbled at anode and oxygen at cathode. The electrodes that is anode and cathode are made up of porous graphite. Anode of porous graphite coated with catalysts of an alloy of platinum, ruthenium, cobalt or platinum, ruthenium, nickel. And this is the reason the electrodes are expensive. The temperature is maintained around 70 to 75 degrees centigrade. That is below 100 degrees centigrade. And so we can call it as a low temperature fuel cell. The two electrodes are separated by an ion exchange resin, which is impregnated in an aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide. The Wick which rises up in the ion exchange resin, its lower end is immersed in water. So by the capillary action, the water rises up in the column and maintains the water balance in the electrolyte. The water which is produced as a reaction between hydrogen and oxygen should be removed immediately to prevent the dilution of the electrolyte. There are many advantages of this fuel cells as the efficiency of hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is around 70% which is very high compared to petrol and diesel engines. The efficiency of petrol engine is just 15 to 20% and diesel is 30 to 35%. The efficiency of hydrogen oxygen fuel cell does not depend on the size of the cell. Maintenance cost is very low and the mechanical power which is derived is used to drive the vehicles. 
The disadvantages are that the initial cost of the fuel cell is high due to the expensive electrodes. The lifetime of fuel cell is not exactly known and there is a problem of durability and storage of large amounts of hydrogen as fuel. The applications are many. Hydrogen oxygen fuel cells are very light and the product of reaction is water. Therefore, it is preferred in spacecrafts, in space vehicles. It is also used as auxiliary energy source in military vehicle, vehicles and submarines. The water which is produced as a, as a product of reaction is used for drinking by the astronauts. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share and like my videos. Thank you.